Hello, this is Rainbow Rising. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can hear, there is a throat chakra opening definitely happening because um, uh, mine is realigning. There is a message of being aligned with um, gold or with Midas touch. I think Midas was a king who um, turned everything into gold, everything that he touched. So you are aligning with your gold, whatever that is. Maybe, possibly, aligning with abundance on all levels. And number 1313 13 signifies a portal, a transformation, releasing, ending old karma and inviting a completely new level of life, completely new experience. It's like this promise has been inside of you and it's been waiting to blossom like a flower. So your internal promise that maybe you have given to yourself that one day you will live this kind of lifestyle or you will wake up feeling these specific emotions gratitude it's all coming true so remember to be grateful be in gratitude and give thanks because that will attract even more of such there is a feeling of being wrapped up in a blanket of protection, spiritual blanket of protection, wool, being carried soft, living in that softness. Life is a very different experience now. And it feels like some of us um, have finally arrived to where we want to plant ourselves where we want to plant our roots bright raven is um, one of my favorites messengers of transformation there is a raven um, blackbird that connects our human world with the spirit world and oftentimes brings a message of change but there's also um, a white raven the bright raven that is even more unique and i think if this messenger uh, came to you um, or it's coming to you now through me there's an elevation of some sort happening and this is an elevation of perception an elevation of habit and an elevation of self-care self-respect elevation of habit elevation of self-respect and also this is the time of harvest and you will really see it um, that all the seeds that you planted in the past things that you have started and maybe haven't completed it feels like they have been abandoned halfway they will actually come together as one forming this beautiful uh, weaving it will all come together it will make sense why you paid attention while you had interest in certain aspects of life because you will be able to weave that unique fabric that only you can weave being you and having all these skills so there's a shift happening in terms of your harvest all the seeds that you have planted some of them will start blooming and bearing fruit especially one will bear fruit very soon very beautiful fruit and you will be able to really marvel and enjoy 
the beauty of creation. And there's a sense of being unshackled within the whole family. It's like a heavy weight, energetic weight, energetic chains have been dissolved, have been broken. And this is the result of interconnectedness. And some of the family members are um, one, leading the way and doing the work, okay? Um, weeding the garden. The whole family is lifted because of the path that some or one has taken. There is the sense of release, especially now in full moon. It's a good time to set an intention of release and cleansing. Um, this brings an immense sense of change. It's almost like losing part of yourself, like saying goodbye to the old you and the old way of being, but it's a, it's a very joyful goodbye. It's, um, we are definitely ready to welcome the new self. Because it's time of the bloom, uh, creations realized, harvest, celebrate, absolutely. So there is a time now to lead yourself to the well. It is time of softness. It is time of all-encompassing blossom and Every area of life elevates. It's not just one. That's why it's so unusual. I feel like there's a great um, clapping and uh, gratitude from the ancestral mother line. Um, we are growing up and we are having more and more compassion for those who came before us with their own limitations and then oftentimes not having the tools that we have to heal ourselves. So we feel the connection in the heart. It's like we can feel our ancestors inside of us. <clears throat> and the other day I went to the statue this Japanese temple and there is a statue of Bodhisattva, the goddess of compassion. And it really touched me when I read that um, as an enlightened being, she refused to enter Nirvana until everyone could enter. Understanding our interconnectedness means I am you and you are me to the extent that we don't want to elevate until everybody is ready to elevate. We walk together. Mm. Yes, it feels like the choice is being made to be of help and support to the community. It's almost like it's becoming the one ultimate path whenever we feel we've accomplished what we wanted to accomplish for ourselves. Um, it's just such a joy to give to others. So this could be the time to gather all the skills or plan how to gain more skills to be 
of best service, best possible service to others. Mm. I also feel that um, the children uh, that are coming at this time, they come to a different quality of life um, because of so many people doing work on themselves and healing themselves and putting um, attention, giving attention um, to their own internal traumas and healing of such. These children come to the world that's lighter, that's more welcoming and that's less burdensome but more uplifting, embracing, caring, because we're becoming more caring to ourselves, right? With understanding that um, outer relationships need to be nurtured and love needs to be tended to, and the quality of our connections with our friends and loved ones skyrockets because there is this shift in consciousness, that realization that we bring in the quality, we nurture the quality, we create and become the quality. In no time to blame anyone. We're turning to each other. Mm, it's like these very, very ancient souls uh, finally give one another a green light. Okay, well, we've been to spiritual Vietnam okay and we've been for so much we've done a lot of work in this life and this is the time when we allow ourselves to connect in loving partnerships no more spiritual vietnam we are spiritual Vietnam veterans and this is the time of the rose now. This is the time when we allow ourselves to soften and connect with ancient lovers. Come to me with open arms. It's all yours. All the wishes you had it's all yours it's all coming to fruition trust this process and enjoy it enjoy watch it check in with yourself every now and then every day and really enjoy this moment of becoming because it's something unprecedented the door to a new life is opening it is now and the quality of life that you will experience will be drastically different to what you're leaving behind and remembering the cycle that's closing might actually enhance the gratitude for the one that's opening embrace that change it's a beautiful transition happily and lightly let go there's a spirit of caracal, a cat, that stands for 
taking that leap, taking that leap of faith. You know very well what to do. You don't need to ask anyone. You already know the answer. And knowing that there is no point to rush, maybe you've been waiting with something, you were becoming, but this is the time. The time is now. The sun. Joy and life force enters. Vitality, vitality and play. And this is something that you might be called to share with those who are in a completely different position. So um, there might be a friend that's waiting, sitting somewhere alone and scared. And you know who that is. Go to that friend, sing that song. Have a chat, you know. Your presence is uplifting to others because you're that in that energy of the sun. You are the sun now. And your presence is generosity. Wherever you position yourself, people will benefit from your being because you are the sun. Remember those who aren't where you are and share with them. Something that you think has left your life and has been over will come back around again will greet you again. We'll give you another chance again. And once you become and find yourself, find your your dharma, your holy path, your purpose here. Remember to nurture it and to stay on that path. To really fully embody it. Because that's your holy grail. You are your holy grail. That's it for tonight. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.